It's time to let our hearts clap because it is written in the Word of God that the Lord's arms are never too short to save. So I come to you with four eyes. I got two sets of uh, glasses, one to see with and one to look cool with. Kind of like bubbles for uh, John Lennon on uh, magnifying glasses. <laughs> but one thing for sure I'm not joking about, every day needs to be Christmas and we need to become nice. We've been all year long, we've been wearing our hats and we've been being naughty. And the truth is, there is no good man. No, not even one. Romans 3.10. If we would just have that faith that there is no good man, but yet most people are good. How could that be? Isn't that a contradiction? No, because Jesus, Isa, Yeshua is love. And all those who love as a little child know him because he is the love that's living within us. So if we just had that faith, uh, that is the faith that it is written in Habakkuk 2, that the just will live by my faith, because I am the Elijah, and all people have a false god on this world, because the truth is, love is not even love unless it is given away, and love has no other desire but to love, and the mystery of God is over. The Lord God says unto all, and I can hear the echo, Echo, it's resounding. The word of love is resounding and echoing. Can you hear it? Hello. And the truth is, the Lord is saying, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity, and I shall never remember it again. What part of conditions is there in that? That is the kingdom age covenant. No one believes the word of God. If God remembered our iniquity, then uh, he would be a liar and his book would be toilet paper. That is the verse that was to be given by one like Moses, Shiloh, who I am, whose eyes are red, dull, and red of wine. I have been the chosen alcoholic of Zechariah 3, standing before the Lord covered with his own puke. I have been the one, the bringer of the kingdom age covenant, the messenger thereof of Malachi 3, one that prepares the Lord's way by his word alone, unadulterated, given to the correct parties. It was addressed correctly to Israel and all mankind. And in this hour, to prove that, all Israel has inherited all mankind and so in this hour Isaiah 54 3 has hit home and in this hour all nations have immediately become the Lord's as that covenant has been given because it was correctly addressed so that God could pour out his spirit of love over all flesh because our Lord God is the Lord God of all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27. And Jesus is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And if you have not that Lord, you have a false God. And no one has the true God. I alone have the true God. And it is time to beat our swords into the sickles to learn the ways of war no more. Which simply is to change our conditional love into unconditional love and for there has never been any love at all unless there has been um, no conditions for as soon as we become a puppet master with conditional love then divine love flees away within a moment of a moment within an instant of an instant and so the mystery of God has been that love is not even love if it is not unconditional and all the world imagines having a God who has conditional love when it is written right in the Word of God that he does not. And uh, it is written in Hebrews 8, when you hear those words, I am your God, you are my people, I have forgiven you and I will never remember it again. When you hear those words, all faith is obsolete and we don't have to worry about being naughty because we always have been, all men, there have been no good man. And uh, so it's time to realize that it's always been about him, what he has done, slain before the foundation of the earth for one and all of us. 
So behold, says the Lord, my sheep, he is the good shepherd of all the flocks of man, and he speaks to all people because he is the bringer of the very best treasure of excellence, and he allows his hearts to fly unhindered. And he says, my sheep have loved truth, but I will now show them the secret and hidden things of wisdom as foretold in uh, Revelation 10.7 and in the book of Psalms. And uh, by my Holy Spirit, therefore, by his dove of love transforming as the most regal eagle of the eons, so we can mount up on eagle's wings. He will now take us much higher than we've ever gone before. And the Lord says, And my flock will now be sprinkled with hyssop in the Spirit, and I am cleansing and, and washing them immediately, so they are all now whiter than snow before me, saith the Lord God, because he sees not our iniquity. He has promised never to remember our sin. And people, that has shake, rattled, and rolled Satan right into the pit for a thousand years, as it is written in Daniel 12, 1, if you dare to b believe the gift of prophecy. Uh, and uh, so shall it be that all people upon this latter day mountain beating your sword into the sickle so that we can remember the ways of war no more to change our love in this hour from conditional to unconditional. This is the hour of the great trial of all flesh, uh, Revelation 3.10. That is come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change, not to change our love. For if we have conditional love, we truly have no love at all. And those are the lukewarm who the Lord will vomit out of his mouth. And But the Lord says, all those who know my voice of victory, they shall turn away their face from their unloving ways, uh, and I shall blot out all of their uh, unlovingness if they will open their hearts and I will create within them kinder uh, more loving hearts as I renew uh, gentle uh, peaceful happy spirits uh, joyful for the many blessings that the Lord shall now give and I am the messenger of Isaiah 41 from the north my name is Daniel who was to arise uh, and embrace his destiny as the Elijah task servant, Daniel 12, 13. And so the Lord says, Never shall I take away my Holy Spirit from those who have their love as a little child. Uh, for the joy of their salvation is now being restored unto them due to their broken and, and contrite hearts. So I shall sing over them within heaven's silence. Uh, and blessed are all those walking down the path of my beloved righteousness by my brightest light of love. And the glory of the Lord shall cover the earth as waters covering the sea, as grass covering the lands, as uh, sand covering the most desolate of deserts. And the Lord says that all people with love moving as a child shall be saved uh, because uh, they are not godless or abandoned without the guidance of my love within them if they keep even as much faith uh, as just a uh, size of a, a mustard seed. If you even have a little unconditional love alive, you have not yet c c committed blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, which would cause any hard-hearted person to be cast out into the darkest, gross darkness of the ignorance of love, where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And so, behold, a great and mighty vision came un unto me. I am Daniel of Windsor, Ontario. I am the one line by line, precept by precept, have I written. I am the writer of the flying scroll of Zechariah 5 and the everlasting gospel of Revelation 14. And I beheld a great and mighty uh, vision, and it was like a Lucy in the sky with diamonds. It was actually a trance. 
and I've heard the audible voice of God as well before. And that was brought upon me by the fast and the hard-blowing wind of God in overdrive. And it brought me to a billowy place of the firmament where Enoch had long ago tread throughout the stars. And then um, I was reminded that God came from Taman and the Holy One from Mount, Mount Paran. And his glory covered the heavens and his praise filled the earth. And men were, became of one accord and of one voice and of one faith and of one love, one God of he who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. And it was a beautiful, beautiful vision of uh, faith and love moving in motion. And then I had the revelation that our Lord really wants to be worshipped by all people as love. That is the secret name of Christ in Mark 4. His name is love. 1 John 4, 7, capital L. All those who love as a little child moving forth, uh, as Christ said and instructed us uh, on who could be born again. All those moving forth like that are alive, and it is time that uh, the Lord will now bring forth his preparation of his most perfect peace. And uh, so it came to pass that in my vision, uh, a resplendent mist of his glory of love began summoning me. And for this reason, in this hour, the Lord Isa Yeshua Jesus is our roaring lion of Zion, and he's roaring as softly as a little itty bitty kitty, softest, most tender, loving purr, uh, a purr of happiness and joy, because it shall be not by power nor by might, but only by the spirit of love that all people will be able to be saved. And so it came to pass that I beheld the course of the stars and the lightnings and it sped and it hastened and the winds blew in my vision and it caused me as a son of Canada to fly and it lifted me upward and it carried me into the highest heaven and I beheld an open door within heaven and a glorious voice of love then sounded from all sides like a trumpeting uh, trumpeting uh, trumpet uh, it sounded like and then he spoke and the voice was tender and it was loving and it was a voice of kindness and then I heard him declare and he said Daniel come up here and I will show you things that must be and then I knew that he was calling me to be as a sword prophet uh, and as he spoke his words held the energy of an earthquake, the momentum of lightning, and it held the resounding quality of booming thunder, and it was glorious. And immediately I translated into his brightness and spirit, and I stood at the threshold of heaven's door, which was ablaze with the coolest of blue flames, like a star sapphire reflecting the sea of the crystalline sapphire sea of the forgetfulness of his forgiveness. Uh, and that sea uh, shimmers in the starlight. And I then, even though I have only been a seller of fish, I, in the spirit, I became a fisher of men, and I was then standing in such a serenity that the tranquility of the bliss of his spirit of love that enveloped me was utterly a uh, ecstasy of kindness, an ecstasy of his adoration, loving me without bounds. And then the Lord said through his dove of love, he says, unto your brethren, Daniel, he spoke unto me. He says, uh, you shall be um, a bringer of uh, my, my glory and a bringer of my love, finally understood. And within a, but a moment of a moment, my vision became crisp as many holy colors like the rainbow promise hit a brand new zenith of vibrancy since the sun of love was ever so 
uh, beautiful, like a kaleidoscope to, to behold for the honesty and the glory thereof that was surrounding His Majesty. Our Majesty of Majesties was too glorious to even witness and most fantastic in His, in his presence overflowing to feel. And I was a witness of love and I earned the right to put on uh, John Lennon Blass is because I began imagining the glory of the brotherhood of man. And uh, so it came about that our son of love, his voice uh, echoed through the canyons of the emptiness of the vastness of outer space. And uh, his word was rooted only in his love alone. And I knew within uh, that instant that his love alone ascends unto the highest heights of the most regal looking trees to caress their branches that quiver uh, under the smiling sun. But our Lord, as he spoke, added that love depends at the very uh, same time uh, on what purpose it is for. And if it is divine love, it always descends uh, down into a tree's very roots to shake them silly while the cl tree clings to the earth below. For he stressed that just like some sheaves of corn coming into the harvest, so too is it true that God's flowing love uh, and grace desires everything, all of us. He desires every part, every root, every branch, all of our hands, all of our feet, all of our mind and heart. And he is jealous because he is love. And far more jealous is love. Love desperately only desires to love and much more jealous than any grave, being always full of loving desire for our love's commitment. And the Holy Spirit came unto me of the north in Windsor, Ontario, and said unto me that one from Alberta would preach with me in a time to come, and that mankind needs to look unto love a light red ruddy from Alberta, who is preaching the same identical message of love. And so in this time of the everlasting gospel coming forth, the flying scroll of Zechariah, uh, the vision 5, Zechariah 5. And as that ruler of creation in my vision, as he spoke, uh, he stressed that everything that all people wanted to know would be unveiled in these days of his seven thunders of the book of Revelation because the seventh trumpet has blown and it is now tearing away veil by veil, sheet by sheet, one time after another so the truth about our future can finally be understood uh, as love is revealed to be totally not divine if there are any conditions whatsoever in it. And so uh, I, in the spirit, I knew there was a question burning in my heart um, about what truth came at man's beginning as far as evil was concerned. And so, you know, it sounded like a stupid question, but uh, in the spirit I realized that the sands of time even manages to cover up some of the world's greatest monuments and that certain things about the past we are so foggy on. And that is why the Lord said unto me that all things of my love shall now be restored. For thus saith the Lord God, I shall write my law of love that is unbreakable upon all hearts. And because of that, as it is written in Jeremiah 31, none shall ever even need to be taught of me, saith the Lord God. For once mankind really realizes that I have always been unconditional love over all, not committing blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to let your love within you to die right out. Uh, know that love 
uh, the way to hell is paved by conditional love. That is uncommitted love. That is fickle love. That is fearful love. That is love that is toxic. Love that is sick. And love that needs to be shot like the dog, dead dog that it wants to become. For two people that have unconditional love can never be separated. Uh, but to all those with conditional love, they only practice at shutting their light of love off. And someday, if it goes right off, that's it for people in time to become a castaway. And so in this hour, it, it is time that uh, to see that his truth is love. So blessed are they who by means of love have received the Lord's word of promise in their spirit because this is a word for now because all those who stand for his love believe in love and believe in love's absolute truth in all ways uh, and so that desire of the nations by his spirit is declaring that the day is coming when the clouds over the land of the maple leaf in Canada are now rolling away so that his glorious sun of righteousness is arising from Canada, from Alberta, Canada with a love, a light red ruddy, and from Windsor, Ontario of the Daniel Owsley Channel. We are not the two witnesses, but we are two witnesses of love. The original Elijah, the original Moses are also yet to come conditionally. But one thing is for sure, that uh, the son of David, through his spirit of love, has described these latter days uh, would be revealed through his body of Gentiles. For he has always been the ancient of days, and through his promise of the mysteries of the word being revealed, as Revelation 10, 7 says, uh, so shall it be that uh, as it was in the beginning, so shall it be at the end. Uh, and uh, so in this hour, uh, it's time for his secrets to come forth. Uh, and uh, so then our Lord God, uh, through his spirit, he is now wanting to teach all people of love that his enig enigma of the ages shall now be revealed word by word, sentence by sentence. This The t time is short. There's no more time for uh, weasel words and uh, waffle lines of uh, uh, nonsensical uh, doctrine that's been twisted. So enough with the uh, weaselly words and the waffle kind of nonsensical garbage that people are teaching out there in their rah-rah clubs, uh, teaching uh, Lord God who is not the Lord God of all mankind, and that is the falsest false God that there has ever been. And so our uh, in the spirit, our altogether insightful one um, is telling the world, all of us, that the whole world is but a bridge over which we all must pass, but he is warning each of us by our very own names that we should never linger uh, there or try to build any permanent houses uh, there on that bridge. And so he is declaring in this moment uh, unto all people of love that he would cut these days short uh, by letting people's word change them in this hour. And so uh, if, if we will not change, it would be better for a man to find a cup of water in the age that is coming than all the riches of this fast dying world. This world is going to hell in a handbag if love does not become the central focus thereof. And so in this hour, it is time to raise our hands unto love now and forever. And I uh, don't need four glasses for that. But I really was wearing two glasses. I had my uh, rears there. Because these don't really hurt me. She's nothing now, you know, because... Because I'm getting to be an old guy, you know. But what I like the best is my little happy heart. And I got a happy heart. Do you got a happy heart? If you got a happy heart, hey, leave me a comment. Tell me why your heart is happy. There's a challenge for y'all. Ciao now.